everyone, this is Lisa Raquel here, back with another video. I want to thank you for taking time out of the video to watch this. As you can see, I am not singing nor I'm playing guitar because this is another Dot Musical video, my first one in a couple of weeks. For those of you that enjoyed my previous videos, I would encourage you to go back and watch my previous music videos of me giving God all the glory, honor, praises to His name in song. As you also can see, I am also outside. I am at a nearby park near my house. I recorded videos here before. And the reason why I'm out here is because whenever I'm given the opportunity, I love recording videos, um, you know, while enjoying God's beautiful creation when the weather is nice and it's a nice day outside. So that's why I'm out here. So, so I was, as I was thinking, planning and praying and making this that musical video, something that the Lord laid out by heart, which surprised me. The title that I have for this dot musical video is simply titled this lessons from deborah the warrior now you might say well who is deborah and why is she a big deal well in this video i'm going to discuss with you guys different things that the lord has showed me concerning this woman deborah and different ways we could use her sword to apply to our lives just as i've done with previous biblical characters um the first thing you need to know about deborah is that when she was raised up um she was raised up during a time when the Israelites rebelled against the Lord. You can read about this in the book of Judges. And another point I want to make about the book of Judges is that as you notice the pattern, each time a judge would die or go home to be with the Lord, um, the Israelites would have a pattern of rebelling against the Lord. And when she was raised up, this was no different. So you can read the story of the Bible for yourself. And so... She was raised up with the Jews rebel against the Lord. The second thing is, because of the Jews' rebellion, God raised up a foreign um, nation to oppress them. And the foreign nation that he raised up, he used King Jabin to oppress the Israelites for 20 years. Yeah, you heard me right, 20 years. So you think the issues with Russia and Ukraine um, are, are new? Well, I want you to know that nations being at war with each other has been going on for a long time and during Deborah's time period it was no different so that's the second thing you need to know the third thing you need to know is that in the midst of the Jews' misery in the midst of the rebellion they cried out to the Lord for help and God heard their cry and I love how Psalm 34 says um, the righteous cry out and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles and so even though the Jews did not deserve it, God heard their prayer. So that's the third thing you need to know. Um, the fourth thing you need to know about Deborah is that she is one of the few people, um, especially one of the few women in the Bible, that was both a judge and a prophetess. Now you might say, well, why is that significant? Well, you got to understand that back then, women did not have a lot of opportunities like we do today. That's the first thing you need to know. The other thing you need to know is that judges in the Bible times were a bit different than what we view judges today. Now, what do you, you, you may say, what do you mean by that? Well, a judge of the Bible times, their office was more like an office of a president or a king, because um, a president, the king rules the land, right? And there's a couple other judges of the Bible, like Gideon, you know, I shared about him. Gideon was a judge. Another judge of the Bible was Samson. And of course, he was a warrior as well. So a judge led Israel for a period of time before kings ruled Israel. And so Deborah was a judge that led Israel. And so the other thing is that she was a prophetess. Um, there were other prophetesses like Miriam, Moses' sister, and Huldah, and things like that. So she was a prophetess. But she was both a prophetess and a judge. And that is very significant, especially being a lady back back then in the Bible times. And so that's the fourth thing you need to know about Deborah. The fifth thing you need to know about Deborah, and I think this is a very important point, that I think this is that this needs to be applied to all women, especially women up today. Deborah used her influence and used her power to come alongside of a man not against a man now you might say why is that significant well first of all deborah was married you can read in the bible for yourself she was a married woman and when it was time for deborah to go into battle after a period of time 
she encouraged Barak to go to the battle with her, saying, Have not the Lord commanded you to be strong and courageous? You know, and I think this is important for every lady to understand. Now, anyone that knows history knows that there have been a lot of things that have been done to women that were wrong. There's been a domestic violence. There's been trying to keep women from having education, voting rights, and, um, you know, ministry for the church for a period of time. Let's not pretend that those things have happened. But may we ladies also not forget that God has raised us up to use our influence to come alongside and support men, not come against them. And so that's important for me to remember as a lady in the 21st century. That's important for any lady to remember that you are raised up to support other women, but also to come alongside of other men. Well, good men, that is. And Deborah did just that. And so that's the fifth thing that, that you need to know. The sixth thing that you need to know about Deborah is that um, how Deborah, the warrior, won the battle. Now, here's what happened. God enabled um, the king of Jabin and his army's chariots to, um, to basically um, come to ruin so that they would not be affected. Now, why is that important? Because King Jabin had about 900 chariots, and you got to understand at that time, that was very, very significant. Um, and so, and I love how the Bible says in Psalms, some are trusted in horses, some are trusted in chariots, but we will trust in the name of our God. So God enabling the chariots um, to basically come to ruin, um, he did that to enable Deborah, Barak, and the Israelites' um, chance of them winning their victory better. Of course, there's other details um, that happened in the battle. You'd have to read the rest of the scripture and judges to read more about the details. But that's what God did. And with the help of God and, and, the help, and teamwork, Deborah, Barak, and the Israelites were able to win the victory. And so that's the sixth you need to know. And so the seventh and the most important point is, you know, how the story of Deborah applies to us today. And I believe that the story of Deborah applies to us today, especially when it comes to spiritual warfare. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, is be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, and to put on the full armor of God so that you may take your stand against the devil's schemes. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, authorities, and powers of this dark world, against the forces and heavenly realms. And you probably heard that scripture many times before. You know, and I think it's no stranger for us Christians to know that spiritual battles will happen but just as god helped deborah and the israelites of barak win their natural battles god can help us when our net when our um, natural and spiritual battles too so that's what i wanted to share with you guys today i didn't want to be long and to recap the point that i made in this video about deborah is this number one you know she ruled with the jews rebel against god and and the second thing is that um is that God allowed King Jabin to oppress Israel for 20 years. Thirdly, the Israelites cried out for help and God raised her up. Fourthly, Deborah was a prophetess and judge. Fifthly, Deborah used her influence and power to come alongside a man and not against him. Sixthly, God enabled Deborah the warrior and the Israelites to have the victory. And seventhly, um, we must remember the story of Deborah to to remember that God can help us with our spiritual battles. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I didn't want to be long. This video, bless you, but you like, subscribe, and share with those you know and love. I want to say a couple things before I get off here is that I'm doing a fundraiser called the Faith Fundraiser, and anyone that can support me with that would be really fantastic. And um, if you have something you can donate, um, feel free to comment in the comment section below if you're willing to help me with that. Also, I have my Mary Kay business and my kid business. And if you ladies out there are interested in makeup or know someone that is, feel free to reach out to me about that. And I'd be happy to help get you ladies the products that you would like. If you have kids, grandkids, or nieces and nephews that are preschool and above that are looking for a Christ-centered, fun, virtual program, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to 
let you know more about it and to help get your kids, grandkids, and niece and nephews register. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Thank you. God bless you. Have a good day. Thank you.